We see the virus is constantly evolving, but we are keeping a close look. Hi, I'm Sebastian Maurer Stroh from the ASTA Bioinformatics Institute, and we are using computers to hunt for mutations in viruses. We study the virus to understand uh, how we can target it with uh, drugs, with vaccines, as well as how to diagnose it. It's important to uh, look at changes and understand what they mean. Uh, and we need computers to do that, because one viral genome is 30,000 letters long. It's like a small book. And we get several thousand of these little books every day, and we need to understand how the little changes of letters uh, affect how the virus can be diagnosed and uh, how our treatments work. Recently, uh, Chinese colleagues have identified uh, a new variant of the virus that uh, they say came from Europe and was found in a Beijing market. It is true that uh, there are genetic markers that suggest that this virus came from Europe, but uh, we know all the chains of genetic markers uh, where it came from and it's uh, still related to the original outbreak in Wuhan. You can imagine it like this. Um, you send a postcard from Wuhan to Europe and every city that it goes through it gets a stamp. And uh, through these stamps, these genetic markers, we know now it has come all the way back to China in Beijing and it's a European origin, but from the original Wuhan outbreak. So every RNA virus is uh, naturally mutating. And uh, this is not necessarily a bad thing because um, uh, it actually gives you some handle to understand the virus better, its evolution. And uh, it's uh, a tiny change. As I mentioned in the beginning, we have a very long book of all the letters and it's just a, a, a single uh, change in it. Most of the mutations don't mean anything for the virus, but it actually can mean something for us. It allows us to study its evolution, uh, transmission, and uh, if our primers for diagnostics they work. It has been an interesting journey since uh, looking at the first viral genomes in January quite early on. and. Um, uh, all these genomes have been shared by a, a platform called uh, GISAID and uh, uh, we help and contribute uh, with our team in Singapore to help make sure uh, the world can share sequences through this platform. There are many teams around the world that contribute and work together on this and by now we have uh, more than 68,000 genomes already in the database. It's important to have uh, so many genomes so we can better study the virus. We understand its evolution, we understand transmission patterns, uh, we also know if interventions and countermeasures work uh, and it's very good to know that uh, the virus is actually quite stable and this also helps with the development of vaccines. 